One more cool feature you have on your purchase orders and work orders is this little lock feature up here. If you click on this, you're going to notice that it says manually. Card will change order status automatically or manually. Now by design and by default, everything is going to be automatic mode. And that means that it's going to follow along the lead time and the cards will move from one position to the next based on the lead time determined in the PO or the work order. If you come into an order and you change it to manual mode, what that means is you now have to select which portion of the lead time are we in right now. And you have this drop down. So let's say I'm still in ground freight mode. I can move it back and you notice how my card moved back into the en route column. Now when it is in manual mode, that means that none of this inventory will be checked in until the day that you come in here and move it to warehouse and prep center and then you mark the inventory as received. None of this inventory will be automatically received. One last thing I want to cover here is you can actually unreceive inventory as well. So if you were in automatic mode and this inventory was received, and now you want to go back to manual mode or delay your shipment, you can simply come up here and put a negative number, such as negative 25. And now you can see that all units are outstanding, and since I'm in manual mode, this will not automatically be received again until I make sure I'm in warehouse prep center mode, and I come in and I receive it, or I close my work order and receive it this way. So choosing between automatic and manual mode can help you to control your lead times and when your inventory is checked into warehouses.